What up, what up? What's up, Zilla Chronicles? It's me, your boy. <laughs> the whole new world, dude. You know how I go. Like I said, I was having some spasm yesterday. Really in some deep thought about a lot of shit. I still am, but honestly, man, I just, um, I'm just sitting back chilling, man. I'm taking a little break right now. Been working all night, getting this money back on this grind. Uh, big shot though, my whole circle, you know what I mean, on my dot. Big J Mills, Big E. Everybody check out his page. He's always on the ground working on the vet. We'll probably him and I'll probably be collabing sometime next week because we're gonna go pick up one of my vehicles that I've been putting off for how long and get that to the shop so I can get my cars home and then my excursion should be coming home in a couple weeks. And then my one Jaguar should be coming home because I'm about to start going back and forth and swapping shit out. Um, I'm probably, I got to put the Subaru in the shop, probably for 130 K service. But what I'm going to end up doing, or when I get majority of the car situated, I'm going to do a video with each vehicle and explain what the deal is and what I'm going to be doing. You know what I mean? Shit like that. But otherwise, man, I'm chilling. It was so nice to have my epic spasm yesterday. I know I was singing a whole new world. I just been laughing because this is just me. You know what I mean? I have my spasm to be all over the place, like a Tupac CD. You know, I know... Somebody named uh, Jay Mills always wants to bust my chops, but, you know, it is what it is, you know. Again, sir, I'm not going to argue with you. You know, you can say what you need to say. You know, it's fine. You know what I mean? You know, Jay Mills is Jay Mills. That's why I just threw the white flag with him because it's just no point anymore. You know what I mean? He'll fuck you. That's all he does. You know, you can call him out on some shit. He'll twist your words around and then fuck you with it. So he'd be like, you know. He's one of them guys that's just a no-win situation. So, hey, good for you, buddy. But anyways, the main reason I'm doing this video, I want to give a big shout-out to his son, my nephew, his uh, his firstborn, Xavier. He's graduating from junior high to today, actually, because today is Thursday, and uh, he'll be starting high school. So, you know, that's a big shout-out to him. Much love to him and his family. It should be a blessed day for all of them. You know, hey, time flies. I remember when he was in his mother's stomach. Now the boy, damn near taller than me, talking to me, hey, how you doing? You know, I was like, damn, you know, big boy, big dude like his father, you know, big dog, you know what I'm saying? But hey, not all of us had those great genes, you know what I'm saying? Big J Mills is fucking goddamn Hulk, you know what I mean? Take over malls, streets, and all types of shit, but hey, good for him, that's awesome, you know, son's doing big things, he's, his, his parents put in the work and is paying off, so that's a blessing, you know what I mean? But anyhow, yeah, that's uh, some shit going on. I just, uh, I really didn't do much uh, Wednesday at home. I uh, got some sleep, washed some clothes, because with everything going on with the coronavirus and everything, you know, every day I come home, I take my clothes off, uh, put, put, basically I make a load of clothes every day to put in the wash, and then I spray my shoes down when I come in the house. So I just was doing that, man. Just been thinking about a lot. Big shout out to Killer Cam. You know, I was talking to him tonight. That's why I'm getting the one vehicle from is him. And I've known him since I was 16. Big shout out to him and him and his family. He's in law enforcement. So I always like to touch base with him now, especially with everything going on. Check on him, see how he's doing. He's blessed though, as always. So big prayers and shouts out to him. Um, Big shout out to my second mom, Lorraine. She's really done a lot of stuff for the basement for me, and the basement's coming together. And uh, that's another thing. I got a guy probably coming over Saturday to uh, check out some stuff to get done on the basement because um, I want to do a lot. I want to do a little. You know how it's just always something. But I want to get to a point where the house is just it's a home. You know, it's, yeah, it's my house at the end of the day. I enjoy it. But I'm getting to the point now that I just want to get more things done. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm probably, it just sounds asinine, but I'm probably going to start from the basement up because the basement le needs the least amount of stuff. Like, I got to do carpet and stuff upstairs and things like that. But my issue is, is some things I don't want to do until other things are done. Like, for instance, I want to, I need, like, all the carpet upstairs is ripped up. I don't want to put new carpet down until I get the windows and stuff done because now I got, I'm going to be doing new carpet. And then now I'm getting the windows done. Shit's going to get fucked up. I don't want to do all that. So I got a couple of projects I'm going to do coming up. And then, uh, sorry, uh, a couple of projects doing coming up. And then what I'm going to end up doing when those are done, then I'll start the bigger projects and knocking stuff out. Like it sucks because with everything going on, it really put me behind, but ahead at the same token, if that makes sense. 
because I had a lot of plans of things I wanted to do, but now I really can't because so many people are going to be behind because a lot of contractors are not working. So hopefully I'll be able to get a couple of things done. I think the main goal for me though, is besides paying off bills and getting some shit done, I want to get all the cars situated and home. That's the main thing. I, I you know, I got to get my ass in gear and I've been in gear. Don't get me wrong. I'm not lazy, but it's just like, I've had plans before and shit just got fucked up. Like, you know, this car blew up or the trans was going and just things didn't, um, uh, progress like they were supposed to. So now I'm finally at a point where things are going to progress like I need to and want to. So basically the main goal, like, don't get me wrong. I do have a lot of vehicles. I will be getting rid of some stuff, but the reason I have so many vehicles right now is because it's a backup for the backup for the backup. If you get my drift. Because a couple cars need work, and I want to keep one. A couple cars I'm going to keep, and a couple cars I'm going to get rid of. But not saying it's extensive work, but it's just a point. My plan the past three or four years was have a backup for the backup. You know, when I was with um the one female, when I had my Cobalt, I let her have it while her car was going to get fixed. But her car needed like two or three grand worth of work. And remember, I'm paying for the Cobalt, which was mine. And she wasn't, you know, contributing anything to that. And then I also have my CRV, which that's another vehicle I need to get back on the road. And it's been two years since I've driven that. So I really want to get on that too. But that's going to be probably more so last because I basically ripped everything out of that. And it's I'm not saying it has to get redone, but like, you know, I got to have my system alarm and all that other bullshit. You know me. So with that being said, the Cobalt and then I had the Elantra, it was just, I, I went through like cars like water, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm at the point that I'm settling. I want I know what I want to get done. I know what I'm keeping. But like, for instance, the Subaru is going to go in the shop and then I'll drive the G6. But the G6 has to go in the shop first because the power steering line blew out. And with those, with the GMs, it's got the subframe. I would do it myself, but you got to drop the damn subframe to get to it. It's a pain in the neck. So while I have it in the shop, I'm going to have Patrick, well, Auto Sound and Speed, a.k.a. Patrick, I'm going to have him do some work. I'm going to tint the windows. Uh, make I just want to make sure the car is mechanically fine because I'm going to be using that for a while. This way he doesn't have to rush on a Subaru. When a Subaru is done, whatever I notice that, whatever else I notice that the, the G6 might need, then I'll probably get that done unless I'm lucky enough that the list I make for him, he'll be able to do all of that. And then uh, I'll be, you know, good because the dude that I'm getting, the, I've got the car from. That used to be his daily driver. He used to drive to Philly every day. So the car actually was his. It's all highway miles. It's got man miles on it, but it's a 09. But he just used to run up and down the PA Turnpike. So I'm hoping that works in my favor. Cause here's the thing: like, if anything major, after I get everything done, and let's say like down the road something major happens, like a trans or an engine, I'm getting rid of it. Just whatever. I got the title. Like I said, it's the thing. I own my shit, so I can get rid of it whenever I want. But in between, like the first three batch of cars getting done, I, I'm gonna obviously have the Subaru in the shop getting everything done. I want to get done. Then I'll be driving the G6, but I also have the Jaguar and probably my excursion at home. The plan with the Jaguar, I would like to try to do like at least one or two things a week on it. Like, you know, if it's not, even if it's just little, like I got the rear diff service done or I did the brakes, little shit I'm just trying to do weekly. Because honestly, for me, this year's a wash, but it's like certain shit with my cars. I got to have my system, my remote start alarm and shit like that. I have some decent plans with my Jag, my one Jag. So it's going to be nice. I can't wait. It's going to be good. I got a plan. <laughs> I would like to, if I can, in a perfect world, I would try, I'm going to try to have it done sometime in August, but it'll be drivable. It drives now. It's just been sitting. So I need to get that. That's the main thing I want to, that's like the next car that needs to come home besides everything else. But I really want to, I want everything under one helm and one roof, really. Or at least if not, if it's not in my house, it's at the shop. So I'm working on that. That's basically what's going on, y'all. I'm just chilling. It's Thursday, 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 payday. Um, when I get out of work today, I got to fax some papers off and do a couple of things. Then I'm going to go home, take a nice shower, go to bed. I'll probably pick up some breakfast and uh, just go home and go to bed. I'm definitely going to work out today. So I gave myself a little break 
today, well, Wednesday. I just wasn't, I'm been sore. And like I said, my body's all out of whack, but I am going to the chiropractor Monday. So I'm very excited about that. So that will be nice to get adjusted and stuff like that. But it'll be, it's going to be a lot of the, probably next week is going to be a decent, a, a lot more content because I'm also going to work on this month of the month of June is getting my, um, my uh, GoPro. Definitely going to get the GoPro and um, I can get a lot more uh, detail with my footage. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the iPhone. The iPhone is not bad at all, but I just prefer to use the GoPro and I could do a lot more editing and stuff like that. It'll be better quality and solution too. Like I could probably get close to like a 4K or 1080p solution. So probably I'll definitely be vlogging every day like I have been or just about every day. Because remember, like my day for you guys, y'all sleep. Most people are sleeping now. I'm up because I work night shift. So what'll end up happening? Um, probably next, definitely Saturday. I'll get some footage with me and Eric. I'll get a couple of the cars on the video, shit like that. But I'm not gonna put the plate on there because I know motherfuckers be trying to hawk and shit. And the way the world's going right now, motherfuckers <laughs> robbing, looting, and all this other shit. I'll shoot you. You know, I, I trust me, I'm used to getting jumped. I always, I'm always got a weapon on me. You know what I mean? Sorry to say that, but you got to do what you got to do. But, yeah, that's the plan. So the rest of this week is just going to be working, chilling. Um, I don't really have nothing major going on this weekend. But uh, next week will definitely is going to be some big things happening. All right? So everybody have a blessed day. Stay cool. Stay dry. Stay safe. Everything. And uh, have a good one. Zilla Nation, baby. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment, too, if you want. Peace.